Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. If this is your first time being here, please like, comment, subscribe, and share. And also press the notification bell so that you will get the notification of all the videos that I upload. For those of you returning, thank you so much for your support and welcome back. So y'all, if you can see from the title, I'm talking about my second retie, um, my self retie that is, and um, the fact that I had to interlock some of my sister locks. So since I've been uh, retightening my hair, this is the second time, I noticed that a lot of my uh, locks are still thin. Um, I know they're supposed to mature over time and it's only been six um, months, but they're not maturing the way that I thought they would. And so in my last video, I talked about how I possibly wanted to go bigger or do some micro locks instead. So instead of doing all that, I decided to go ahead and combine them. I combined them with the two strand twists. I don't know how many I combined. I just know when I got to this area um, throughout, I was just combining. If it was too thin for my liking, I was combining them because again, I want them all to be uniformed, okay? And so I think this is a lot closer than what I had before. Um, it get, does give a lot more space here, but at the same time, I don't want them to mature and then break off or whatever. So yeah, so I combine them. Um, in here, I'm going to just show you just um, a small little snippet or whatever of how I set up my bathroom and everything when I go to do my self retie because a few people have asked, like, what do you do? Do I hold a mirror? No, I don't hold a mirror. I have a uh, full length mirror that I put in the bathroom and I have it facing my bathroom mirror and I basically just sit on the counter, okay? I sit on the countertop, have my um, phone and I look at Netflix or YouTube videos or whatever the case is. Um, I wasn't feeling so well and stuff, so I started like late last night and um, honestly, it didn't take me as long to do my hair this time as it did before. I think I got up to like six and a half, seven hours last night. I've been and at this now for seven. like almost five hours now. I've been doing really, really good. I'm actually proud of myself that I'm able to do all of this in a five hour window. So I am getting good at this and this is just my second time doing it. So um pat myself on the back for that one. But what I've been doing um, since I was retightening, I noticed that a lot of my locks are very thin at the root, okay? So I'm not going to say it wasn't like that before, but now that I'm doing my own retightening, I'm just going to go ahead and take advantage of the fact that I am. And so I'm going to fix some of my locks and everything, okay? So I noticed that a lot of them are thin at the base. I don't want these to mature and then eventually pop or, you know, some of them, they feel like they're just holding on by, like, maybe three or four strands of hair. Um, yeah, so we're not going to do that. So, what I've been doing is basically combining my locks, okay, through a two-strand twist and then interlocking them um, with the four-point rotation, okay? So, that's what I've been doing. The last time I did my retightening was about five weeks ago. Uh, give or take between four and five weeks ago. So since I'm retightening my own hair from here on out or until I decide that I don't want to do this no more or I actually find another loctician, um, I'm going to continue to do this. And so I want it the experience to be good and I want my hair most definitely to be its best. So um, since I don't particularly care for them being as thin, I am going to go ahead and combine them. So I have my retightening tool here, okay? Please look at my other video if you want to know how you make this. All right, and I'm going to take these two right here. As you can see, they are thin. Um, I do have thin hair. And um, instead of worrying about the sister count lock, you know, having more than 400 locks or whatever, I'm just going to go ahead and combine some. So I really don't even care about the number right now. I just want my hair to be um, uniformed as much as it can be. Uh, once these right here mature, I think they'll get bigger. I want these to be basically the same length and the same, excuse me, the same width at least, okay? So right now I got some distant cousins in my hair. And um, even though they don't have to be twins, I at least need these, these locks to be sisters, okay? So that is the goal, okay? So I'm combining these. So like I said, here we are. I'm going to go ahead and combine them. Here, I'm twisting them. I'm trying not to twist too tight because I don't want to, um, 
not have enough of the diameter and stuff to actually get the locks through. So again, this is a two strand twist. The way that I plan on uh, alleviating the twin dragons because I don't uh, want to clip any one of them because that basically will defeat the purpose of me combining it. So what I'm going to do is get this little tool, which I saw on Amazon, which is used to uh, repair locks and everything. Um, kind of combine them if you need to and stuff like that or fix your damage locks. I can put a picture somewhere in here of it. I'm going to use that in the very near future to go ahead and try to combine these twin dragons versus you know, when they start maturing and stuff like that to have them, you know, one cut off. So I'm trying to just go ahead and start the process. So I fed both of the ends through. Now I'm going to go to with the rotation. We're going to go to the nine o'clock first. I'm trying not to do these too tight, but I think I got that one in. Okay, so got that one in. This looked completely out, but oh well, we'll fix that. So again, you see me feeding both locks through. Okay, then we're going to go to the 12 o'clock, go up. Make sure when you're doing this, you're not feeding it through the same holes because that's what you create are holes in your locks and you don't want those, okay? So I'm here at the 3 o'clock and now I'm about to go to the 6 o'clock. And then that's where I should finish up because I don't have a lot of new growth. Okay. All right. And that is it. So that is now combined. And I really do like this width over the other one. Okay. I Like I said, I'm going to use that tool because I don't necessarily want the two strand uh, pattern in my hair. Um but I am going to try to go ahead and just, you know, like I said, use that tool, kind of roughen everything up and make it uniformed, okay? So I just wanted to come back on and show you all this. I'll be back with the finished product and some pictures, all right? Thanks again, you guys.